Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Behind me, the brand new 2020 HD Silverado. Now this is the first one that we're getting here at the dealership, but it's not our truck. I'm gonna share with you what happened and why we have this truck here in a second. So I will start showing you this truck, uh, awaiting our truck to get here. Our truck that's coming is a one ton diesel. This one is a 2,500, three quarter ton gas truck. There's a couple things that I noticed on this truck. This is the first time that I saw this truck. So I'm gonna share the thoughts and processes with you and uh, see what you guys think about this as well. I know a lot of people are gonna say, hey, it's ugly, the mirrors, blah, blah, blah. I've seen all those comments on social media and Facebook and YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm telling you, as I always tell you, come look at the truck in person because this truck just like our half tons is pretty phenomenal and one big upgrade i'm going to talk about when we get our vehicle here is uh what they did to the bed of the 2020 hd that i hope they do to the bed of the half tons over there before i begin to show you everything on this vehicle make sure you hit that subscribe button turn your bell notifications on and if you'd like to see more three quarter ton one ton hd silverado trucks leave a thumbs up on this video can we reach 2,000 thumbs up in this video? I bet we can. Uh, check out the Chevy Dude store, chevydudestore.com. It's right there. We got these cool stickers. We got these brand new keychains. I'm launching today in the store. Got this, we got that hat, we got this shirt, and we got these cool sunglasses that you can wear at nighttime. Also, if you want to interact with me and get some great car buying tips, I started a new Facebook group. If you're on Facebook, go to HTTP, autobuying.us. The link is in the description below. So a couple of things that I noticed right off the bat, this is a gas engine. I'm going to show you the 6.6 gas engine here in a second, but this has actually got a scoop on it like the diesel. So we're going to see the diesel hood, what it looks like when we get that truck here, but that is not functional. Uh, I opened the hood, look behind the hood liner and there's no functionality of that, but it's something there. And when you look into here, there, it's all closed off. So we'll show you the gas one there. Uh, this is an LTZ trim. So it's got the tra trailer tow mirrors that I know so many people have uh, been very, very boisterous about how they don't like them. Um, I think they're cool. We got the LED lights there. We have have the LED lights here and we have the mirror so you can see down the side and the big mirror which has got the blind spot indicator up there and then this one is heated as well so the mirror so for towing comes out just like that you can see I did that one-handed uh, it's just two positions open or close um, these are the six inch oval steps that we see a lot the new integrated step in here is pretty cool and then these are the polished wheels that come on the LTZ truck uh, back here we got the pretty similar tailgate of the Silverado and then the, really the only way you're gonna be able to tell if this is a uh, Duramax diesel or not is by looking at the hood up here, I do believe, and we'll triple check when that truck gets here. This is gonna say Duramax up here. And the only other way that you're gonna be able to tell from the outside of the vehicle is, thanks for doing that, is by looking at the tailpipe down here. So that's the gaster tailpipe and uh, the diesel tailpipe is gonna be much bigger. Here comes our correct truck right there. See how good he can park in this spot. No pressure, no pressure. <laughs> Just take up two spots, it doesn't matter. It's a big truck. This truck is amazing. Does it drive good? Oh my God. Hey, you've driven it more than I've driven this truck. Yeah, I love this truck. I'm telling you, I love the design of it. Yeah. It looks mean. Yes, and it I, does. I like you, it. You wouldn't believe all the looks you get driving this Oh, thing. I bet. So High Country, LTZ, so you can kind of see a big difference up there. And I was telling you guys earlier, the only way you're going to be able to tell the difference between a gas and a diesel is that right there. You can kind of see through there. And then we have uh, the big tailpipe back here that kind of tells you that it's a diesel. So this is Logan. He's from Bob Hook Chevrolet. They're just right down the street here from us and a uh, great dealership, great family, friends and stuff like that. And uh, like I said earlier, you're pretty fortunate to ride these vehicles, yeah. or drive these vehicles. I drive them on a daily basis. So this is a gas truck, as I was telling you earlier, I'm gonna have Logan pop the hood and we're gonna show you the 6.6 gas engine. So we pop the hood, let's hop in here and uh, we will show you 
the plastic that's on top of the 6.6 engine. So uh, nice gasser engine, 6.6 gas. And one thing you'll notice is we do not have a dual battery set up in the gas engine. Uh, the battery set up in these trucks are so much nicer than what they have been on the previous. So we got one battery back there and you have the uh, second battery up here. Let's go over to the Duramax and see if that does have the second battery. Here is the Dirty Max setup. So yes, we do have a dual battery. And again, this is the first time that I'm seeing this. So I literally opened this hood the first time as you saw on camera. And I'm gonna show you uh, the hood up here too. So I showed you earlier uh, that uh, this hood is not functional over here to my left on the gas. And we have a little bit different underlay of the hood on here for the air intake uh, and for the Ram air box that's up there. So uh, pretty typical. Duramax diesel engine 6.6 Duramax. It's really confusing if somebody comes in here and tells me they want the 6.6, now I gotta ask gas or diesel. It used to be 6.0 or 6.6, but uh, pretty cool setup there. And we'll head over here to this one. And this is the gasser. And you can see under the hood liner, completely different setup. As you said, we got the faux vent on the hood, uh, no Ram air box over here and no air intake uh, from the hood there. So the air intake is pretty normal like any truck. So to kind of give you an idea of price rise, uh, this is an LTZ, it's kind of tough to see, 6.6 six gas. MSRP is 63075. This has got the LTZ premium package on it and then chrome assist steps and also the Z71 off-road protection package. So three options, 63075 on an LTZ Silverado with a gas engine. So we'll hop over here to the high country truck. Now remember this is a 3500 with the Duramax. So we have the uh, Duramax high country deluxe package, Duramax diesel engine with the Allison transmission. And this one stickers for 72,625. I'm gonna show you the outside of this truck and then I will do another video on the inside of this truck. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notifications on for notification of future videos. All right, so the thumbnail has this cord in it and uh, so what's this cord go to? This is pretty interesting. I haven't seen this on a truck. You guys might know if it's been on a truck already, but Chevrolet has done what I think is an ingenious idea to make life much easier for people that need to plug in their diesels. So right down here in front of the driver's wheel is a plug. Open that up. There's a three prong plug in there, which goes right here. And now you can plug in your truck right there for the engine block heater. Pretty ingenious if you ask me, like I said earlier, and also makes it much easier so you don't have to find it inside of the engine bay and then run it through wherever you need to run it through. If it's out here or underneath on the ground or whatever the case may be. I think one of the biggest improvements is they finally put the death fill right here. Now you wanna do make sure that if you let an employee drive your vehicle that they know 100% Diesel, not deaf, deaf, not diesel. You probably aren't gonna get diesel in here, but there is a big possibility of putting deaf in here. Uh, one of my customer's employees did it $15,000 later because his employee put deaf in the fuel system. So, so make sure uh, they know. Which also means there is no more deaf tank on the passenger side of the truck. Because now I do believe that this right here is the def tank right there under the rail. There's a metal bracket underneath of it, a skid plate, if you will, uh, right there based off of where I traced it at. So up here are the optional cab lights. Those look a lot different from the past years. I kind of like the look of them. Uh, this being on a white vehicle, that black contrast looks pretty cool. All keyless access, just like the current 19 Silverado. Those are the standard wheels on the high country. And I uh, think that's kind of pretty much it on uh, the outside of the vehicle. Uh, again, I'll do another video on the interior of it to show you everything on the interior. And probably the only thing I didn't really share with you is what these front LED lights look like. So let me uh, go start the vehicle and I'll turn those lights on and uh, show you those. This is the first time that I'm seeing these lights myself. So I have them on the park lights right now so you can see these are on, these are on, and the boot marker lamps are on. We're going to put the full lights on, so you can now see we have the lights on down here. I already hit the high beam sound. Now 
there you go, get it the right way. So those are on the inside of the bed with the power up and power down feature tailgate which Chevrolet is the only manufacturer that has a power up tailgate GMC doesn't even have that feature um, and one thing that I think that they did very very good on this is get away from using the plastic on the tailgate when you come over to the half ton which this is a high country with the factory spader and bed liner the tailgate is actually plastic right here i always kind of thought that was cheap and chintzy um you know i don't want plastic bed liner if i did i put a drop-in bed liner i like spray and bed liners i have one in my own personal truck from line x so uh hopefully on the 2020 half tons we'll get rid of this plastic and they will use the same way that tailgate is down there but one thing i wanted to share with you is how tall this truck is wow this thing is setting up there um now my friend dan who is another top salesman at our dealership is five foot five and you'll see this picture pop up on the screen here he can't reach the top of the hood he's five five wow and you can see him, he's kind of joking around. You can see how tall he is there. I think he's crouched a little bit. I don't think he's really standing all, all the way up. I wasn't around when he made these pictures. I'll show you a video where I closed the hood along with somebody just a little bit shorter than me. Close that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Close it. I, I would have to go. <laughs> no, 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 go, go to the front and do it. I can't. <laughs> 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 That's what you wanted. The All other, right. So one, hold one. here, hold the camera. Let's look the at the other, difference between him and me. So here's. One, I'm six foot three. How tall are you? Maybe five eleven. Okay, six foot three, five eleven. What now? Hold the camera. And let me do it. Almost seems like the other one was tall. The other one seems tall. Oh. The other one did. And I'll stand to the side, so like this, so I can I can get up there flat footed. But I mean, it's really easier if, you know, if you're sitting there doing this, you just kind of, I'll probably just do this, you know, and look at my feet. I'm naturally up there and do it. Pretty tall. So they need one feature. What feature do they need on this? Step stool. Step stool. Power. Yeah. Power close yeah. hood. Can we be the first auto manufacturer to have a power close hood? Come on, GM, let's do it. And power open, right? Power open, power close. All right, well, there's the exterior of the 2020 Silverado High Country and a little bit of the LTZ that was not ours. Now, that LTZ got dropped off by the shipper by accident last night. So uh, we saw it, Bob Hook Chevrolet, just a few miles away from us here. They actually have that one sold. It's a gas engine. This is the Duramax. So it's kind of nice to have that little mistake happen. Good thing that we're all good friends at the dealerships uh, back and forth. So just have one of their drivers bring it over and we got the right thing going on now so uh, again i hope that mustang doesn't wreck but uh anyways if you want to see more videos like this or have suggestions uh make sure you hit the subscribe button turn your bell notification on leave a thumbs up there's a link down below to get suggestions to me on what you want to see on this channel have a great day drive safely